Hey y'all, it is uh, Monday, July 3rd. The time is 12.36 New York local time. As you know, I've reached my profit limit on my top step, uh, step two. And so, um, you know, I can't take another trade. Uh, I first off wanted to say that obviously it did come to the new week opening gap uh, last night. I referred to it as the big gaping hole in the chart. And uh, it did come down to the big gaping hole in the chart. Now, it took it an immense amount of work to uh, do that, but uh, it did finally do that. Uh, in this video, I wanted to make a quick... Um, I don't have much of a voice left. I kind of kind of was ranting last night. So, in this video, I wanted to say for all of my people out there that are just getting into this, that are just trying this, and obviously... You know, I'm not a professional day trader myself yet either. Um, I I think here's my opinion. I say that a lot because I'm not, you know, I don't want to run afoul of certain regulations. Um, you should really treat this like a professional, even if you're not yet. And what do I mean by that? Uh, there are a lot of people that you go there, that you go uh, on discords and you go on social media and you go in other places and they're going to tell you to have multiple accounts and they're going to tell you to push it really hard. And uh, for some of them that works, but I will tell you that for most people that does not work. Um, if you want to treat day trading, if you want to succeed at day trading, even if you're not there yet, you have to have a professional mindset. What do I mean by that? Um, you have to treat this the same way as if you were going to start your own small business. You have to treat this the same way as if you were uh, going to be a W-2 employee. Um, you can't come in here, and I've talked about this before, and this is a mistake that I have made. Okay, I haven't started seeing any amount of results or any positive days uh, until I change the thought process. And the thought process needs to change to from... Uh, amateur hour to I want to do this professionally I want to grind this day in and day out and as soon as you start to consider yourself a professional you'll start to do things a little bit more reasonably you know you'll you'll scale into positions you'll take one contract at a time you'll focus on one account at a time okay you'll mostly focus your attention on one product even if you are looking at other products for your intermarket relationships um, I am highly critical of a certain prop, prop firm company that tells you that you should run 20 accounts on a trade copier. Um, I know that that is what some people want to do. I do not think that that instills a professional day trading mindset. I don't think that that teaches you to treat day trading like a serious career. Um, I understand that that is a tool that some people use. I'm not a fan of it, okay? Uh, I'm just not. And I think if you want to be skilled at, at reading a price chart over time, you are going to have to start treating this like a career, guys. There's really no way about it. Um, do I think that you can do day trading as a side hobby? Maybe, guys, maybe. I'm kind of of the opinion that the answer is no. It has taken me to get to any amount of success to get to any like guys the fact that I am not just blowing out accounts in the same day you think that like I'm, I'm kidding I'm not uh, this is very hard and if you come in this with an amateur attitude uh, and you listen to the people on discord and you listen to the people on YouTube and you listen to uh, people on telegram they're gonna make it seem like it's easy to you they're going to make it seem like this is not going to take day in and day out work. They're going to tell you that this is going to happen overnight. And okay, if you throw in a big Tesla call, or if you throw in a big call on NVIDIA, it can happen overnight. But you didn't really get any skills there, in my opinion. So, this has got to be something like, do you know how a lot of you, alright, I'm going to try and hit every part of my audience. If you're in high school or college here in the United States, or anywhere in the world. You know that you have a daily schedule, you have classes that you have to go to, you know that you have work and routine that routines that you have to do. This is no different, okay? In in the sense it's obviously very different from a 
an actual business model, but uh, you have to treat this the same way that you are college. You have to treat it like day in, day out, not going to happen overnight, I'm not going to get my degree tomorrow. Okay, now let's talk about my construction guys. Let's talk about my truck drivers. When you get your CDL license and you're getting out there to work for a company, you're going to you're going to drive a big rig, you're going to you're going to drive an 18-wheeler. Uh, does that happen overnight? Do you get your CDL license overnight? No, it takes work. And once you get your CDL license, you got to go get the truck and you got a contract for a company if if you're not if you're not working for them as a W2 employee directly. This is not any different. Just because you're doing it yourself, you have to treat it like a business, guys. All right, let's say if you're uh, you're an entrepreneur, you're starting up your own construction company. You have to go get a bank loan. You've got to, you know, let's say that you're going to be an electrician. You've got to go get your electrician's license, and it takes a lot of work to become a, a master electrician. Okay, let's say you're going to do heating and air, HVAC. That takes a long time to do. You don't just become an electrician overnight. All right, let's talk to my construction guys again. You don't become project manager in a day, okay? And some of you are kind of treating this, and I treated it the same way. It only took a dramatic amount of change in my life and my mindset to change this. And it went from, I'm going to try and score big every single day to, I'm going to try and stop losing money, and I'm going to try and scale into positions and take it small and take it over time and treat it like a business. Um, you know, I, I can't stress that enough to you. And I really do believe that companies that are pushing you to get a bunch of accounts on trade copiers is, not, is no bueno. I really don't. I really don't think it's good. I think it's muy mal. Uh, and some of you are like, well, I use the trade copier and I have 20 accounts and I do just fine. For every one of you that tells me that buying 20 accounts and you're doing just fine, I guarantee you there's 50 that just lost 20 times what they would have otherwise. Okay? So, I don't think that that's treating it like a professional. And uh, that that's what you have to do, in my opinion. I really don't think that these markets... Uh, if you want to trade intraday volatility. I mean, guys, look at the market today. It essentially went nowhere, right? The only way that you are ever going to make money today is if you're a skilled day trader and if you're trading intraday volatility. And how are you going to do that if you're, if you're working three other jobs and this, that, and the other? I don't think you can. Uh, I think that uh, if you really want to start making it quote unquote as a day trader uh, you'll have to make sacrifices in my opinion I, I really don't think that you can do this as a professional and do something else um, I think that you can swing trade and long-term position trade and and do something else but I think that if this is what you want to do for a career um, at least at first okay at least for the first couple of years like this has got to be what you do okay now, later on, maybe if you get a little financial cushion, you're like, I only want to trade the morning session, but I want to start another company. I want to do another business. I understand that. But when you're just getting started, you really have no idea what you're doing. From my current experience, I'm telling you, no. I don't think so. So you really think that you're going to become a doctor overnight? Like, really? You have to go through college, and then you got to go through med school, and then you got to go through residency. Uh, and then if you want to become a specialist like neurosurgeon, uh, anesthesiologist, that takes even more work. So a lot of you are like, well, day trading is not like being a doctor. Bullshit. I'm an attorney and I'm telling you that this is just as quote unquote time intensive as going to court and client intake and all the things that a law firm does. You know, it's just because this is offered to the public on a low entry basis that you think it's not. So, with that in mind, guys, we need to get out of amateur hour here and start treating it like a professional. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to go through some accounts. You probably will. But it means that you're starting to think correctly. You're starting to think correctly. Notice I didn't say you're there yet. 
but you're starting to think correctly. So that's just my thoughts. Um, you're not going to get your CDL license overnight. You're, you're not going to become an anesthesiologist overnight. You're not becoming an attorney overnight. You're not starting your own HVAC company. You're not becoming an electrician overnight. And you're not, you're not going to become a day trader without any work. Okay? You're not. No matter how easy these companies make it to get funded. I've talked about this before. If they're not putting you in a live brokerage account, you're not really trading their money. I'm not there yet. But I know that that's the goal. I know that day in, day out, as my career now, that's what I want. Okay? I love this stuff and this is what I want to do with my life. So that's why now it's instead of, you know, tomorrow, it's I want to still be here three years from now, five years from now, ten years from now. I want to still be here. So that's more of a professional mindset about this. All right. If you want the dream, if you don't want to have a boss, if you don't want to have a supervising attorney, you don't want to have whatever authority above you and you want to do this instead you yourself have to become your own boss you got to become that voice in your head that's regulating your behavior okay and it, you know I'm also religious so I seek guide from, guidance from the Lord but I, you know I just see a lot of stuff on discord that I think is amateur hour I really do I'm still an amateur myself, but now I can recognize amateur hour. So that's my opinion on treating this like a professional. I hope you're doing well. Uh, obviously, you know, I cannot, tr the market's about to close, and uh, I can't trade until uh, we open up again tonight. So I'll be back with that. Bye.